All right. Hello, YouTube. Uh, my name's Steven, a.k.a. Boy in the Woods. One half of Battle Science joining me via Discord. Uh, the wonderful World Wide Web is Jesse, a.k.a. Rocket Diamond J. Hello. Um, chat, again, if something's weird, uh, do let me know um, if the audio's uh, borked or, or what have you. Um, uh, this is part one of a Pokemon Violet, because I've already played Scarlet. Violet. I've already, huh? Go ahead. Uh, so I've already played Scarlet. I already know all of the game. Um, I just used a very narrow team, and I want to try different Pokemon. Um, also, I want to try at least uh, a Nuzlocke. Um, I'm going to be really fast and loose on these rules, so I'm going to kind of go... Um, I don't have them written down, but I'll go pretty quick over what I'm hoping to do as far as um, Nuzlocke rules. Uh, I'm not doing hardcore. I can over-level. That's fine. Um, I'd actually prefer to be over-leveled in some cases, especially if things are going to be fainting and, and leaving my party. Um, standard Nuzlocke rules of uh, one Pokemon per named region. Um, I looked it up, apparently. I thought, for whatever reason, that like the first cave, cave you're in... Um, is another named location. Uh, it's technically considered uh, Area 1, um, so South Province Area 1, so um, I can't just catch a Houndour in the cave and have it be its own region. Um, neat, right? Um, so I have spawn pools for the first... Um, uh, oh, goodness. Um, the first three regions? Um, oh, I can move this up. Hold on. Do, 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 do. I gotta move this source higher up my list of sources. Goodness gracious, I my OBS is a <laughs> mess for me. Um, okay, so that's there. We're gonna increase the size. I put it kind of over top. Um. Oh, tell um, your mom she shouldn't have given me those pretzel M&M's. I ate those so quickly. When did she give you the pretzel M&M's? That's part of my gift. Oh. Um. Okay. Um. Yes, I'm good. Uh, so I am going to be using. I've got a list of all of the spawns from the first three regions. So, the does that? I guess that starting area doesn't really count po until so you get to the part where you can catch stuff. Poco Path does not have its own unique spawns. Um, so, some stuff. Transfer stuff over. Um, so Poco Path doesn't have its own unique spawns. It, the first spawn area is under the named area, um, under the location South Province Area One. Okay. Um, so basically once, um, once I go through the first battle tutorial and I hit, um, the first LeChonk, um, the first encounter where they do the catching tutorial, um, I will right about there, I'll do a, and let me actually just show you here cause I got it up. Um, I'm going to do a random spin. Um, so I have a list of the spawns. Um, base forms. So I have a list of spawns as their base forms. Um, oh, that's neat. And I have removed anything that was on more or less my championship team from Scarlet. So I'm playing Violet, so I have a little bit of different spawns. Um, this is the first, technically the first generation where I've bought both versions of the game. So, it's, you know, take that as you will on my uh, experience with Scarlet. Um, so I'll have a random spinner as far as what Pokemon I have to catch. Um, I do have a little asterisk on regions. So South Province Area 1 doesn't have any... I think it doesn't... It doesn't start with any raid dens, I don't think, um, for that tutorial. It's not until you get through the school tutorial that you then see raid dens pop. 
Um, I don't think you can until you get through Terastalize. Right. So I have to go through the, the tutorial, the school tutorial first. Um, so um, it's not until Area 2 and Area 3 of the South Province that I will have... Um, um, two additional tabs on this, or two additional wedges on my spin. So I will have all of the base forms that show up in a region. I will have uh, any Pokemon that I've played with in Scarlet, or any Pokemon that I, I played with primarily in Scarlet, removed from those spawn pools. So in the first region, it's... Um, so in this case, I had uh, Sprigatito as my starter. So... For this playthrough, I will have either Quaxley or Fuecoco, depending on what we roll. Um, in Region 1, I grabbed a Ralts and used a Gardevoir for the duration. Um, Ralts will not be... Ralts and its family will not be in my party for this playthrough at all. It will be removed from the spawn pools. Um, or from the, the, the wheel spin. It will be removed from the wheel spin, so I will not be able to have it in my party. Um, there is one asterisk to that, and I will get to it. Um, the uh, two things that will be added to region two and three are um, one, uh, one random, uh, grab a random Terra Raid, and that will be my Pokemon from that region. Um, the other one is the first shiny that I find in that region, which means I'll have to shiny him. Um, so there's a small chance that I will have to get Jesse in here um, and just grind a particular region to try and find uh, the first shiny that I can. Um, the asterisk to that is that if I already have a Pokemon from a region and I am exploring a region and find a shiny, I will then have to replace the Pokemon I currently have in my party from that region. It will then get substituted for the shiny. So shinies take precedence. Um, very, 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 very small chance that that happens. Um, but that's a little caveat thing I have. The other caveat I have is because this is my first ever Nuzlocke, I'm not transferring. I am not, uh, I'm not transferring Pokemon. I'm not getting rid of them. What I'll do is if I have all of my Pokemon faint, I will, a la Dark Souls, remove all of the items and all of my bonuses from my bag. I will sell everything I have. I will buy luxury balls with that money so that I have zero money. And I will then cease to use luxury balls. Um, I guess that's the, one of the rules here is I'll, I will not use any luxury balls. Nothing will get caught in a luxury ball, period. Um, so I will basically turn all of my items into luxury balls where I can't use them because you can't just delete items and you can't just delete money. Um, so I will remove all resources. My Pokemon can then be revived and then I can continue. I'll put a counter up if we get to that, that scenario. Um, Does that count for LP too? Um, yeah, probably. Probably. Um because you can buy luxury balls with LP, so I will go down to the base minimum. Um, the benefit is items are very easy to get, um, but this being my first Nuzlocke, uh, it will be very easy to KO myself. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to play it pretty carefully. Um, the, the primary goal for this is to just... There are so many new Pokemon in this region. There are so many Pokemon that I've never played with, that I've, I've played main series games. It turns out, so this... Last playthrough, I had... What did I have on my final team? There was a Pokemon or two on my final team in Scarlet that I, I had already played with uh, in previous games. Um, and I just want to try something different. I just want to have an appreci further appreciation for other Pokemon. Um, like when I was playing, I think it was Soul Silver, um, just a handful of years ago, it was like, you know what? I've never used a Zubat. So I caught a Zubat. And then had it all the way through the Elite Four um, and had the Crobat and that's how I now why I love Crobat so um, excuse me goodness gracious um, yeah that's going to be kind of the rule set um, I might write that up so it's going to be nice and easy to go over for other parts but this is part one we'll get through 
maybe the tutorial. We'll see. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's gonna be a minute. You might want to start the tutorial. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm, I'll get through it. Um, I'm not, I'm not in a rush. I'm here to enjoy it. So, um, I'm gonna run over and grab my switch. I'll be right back. Oh no, um, he's leaving me. Yep. Um, all right. Too much talking. So, <laughs> Pokemon Violet. This is a brand new game slopped in. Um, uh, I played Scarlet, so the outfits are slightly different. Enrollment complete. Now saving. Oh, I've got to throw on a couple of settings or adjust a couple of settings. Like once we immediately get in here. Um, ah. um God, I wish I could listen to this. Um, there might be a way to do it and have it work properly. Um, there's also a scuffed way to do it where I can throw it into my mixer as a quarter inch in. Uh, 3.5 to quarter inch in. Um, which might work. Yeah, I mean, I'd be able to hear it. Um, I would then mute my inputs and stuff, so that might work. Um, yo, his red suit turned into purple. It's kind of fresh. What's up, Clavel? 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 I don't know. Clavel. It's the E-L-L, -L, like Bell. Bobby Brown. Um, Clavel would just be one L. I'm going to call him Gavel. Um, you know what? You can't name any of your uh, opponents in this. You can't name your rivals or anything. No. Nope. So that's a bit of a bummer. What's up, Pommy? Um, it's because these characters are important. Uh... Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know, dude. Would you want to name Nimona something else? I mean, I could nickname Arvin Butt Sniffer. Hey. That might be kind of fun. Be nice to Arvin. Hey, man, I totally appreciate Arvin, but I'm not going to name Nimona Butt Sniffer. Oh, but you will Arvin. Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> All right, where was the place that you said Chansey were hiding? Hiding? Yeah, you said there was somewhere you get like, and don't respond, Chansey. Oh. Uh, use a, uh, a normal type encounter power one sandwich, which is like a ham sandwich. Okay. Um, I think it's a ham sandwich with pickle. Um, and then go to... North Province, I think it's at Area 3. It's like just to the just to the right uh, or technically the east of um, the ferry. The mountain? Yeah, the, the ferry to the Starbase. Okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah, that's yeah, the... That's you can the, do some the, EV training for HP. Yeah, grab the... Um, um, you can do both if you grab... Um, the bracers from want to know that? No, I have them. Okay. I just need only like a couple because I need to on the range for a bit. That's how I'm going That's why I only need a couple I see. Oh, and I don't know if it'll do well. I have... We were grocery shopping, and I picked up a pack of Pokemon cards. Um, and it's not going to look good as far as pack opening, because I don't have any of it set up. Um, but if I do this weekly, maybe I do a single pack opening at the very beginning of each stream. <laughs> I have it. Uh, we'll probably... Let's get to the main city. See about getting to the main city, and then I'll pack open. and um, We'll see what we get. Um, I, don't, I think Vivid Voltage is the most... No, this is Sword and Shield. This is an old pack. That's a yeah. really old pack. All right. Um, I don't know what in the world I'm going to get here. Um, it's oops. a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a surprise in every pack. Is there a card for disappointment? Yeah, it's called Energy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what level Chansey is in that area? Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's like forty something. 
Good to know. I was just about to go to the guard shop at level 33. Or, what's the second farm? Got by it. Alright. I gotta learn to walk. Oh, goodness. Uh, options. Tech speed, normal. Uh, move learning. Yep, that's fine. Send the boxes manual. Give nicknames on. Regular, regular. Auto save. Off. Show nicknames. Oh my show. goodness, this chance is thick. It's big. Yeah. Uh, controller rumble, helping functions. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Confirm. Yes, I want to save the settings. Save my save settings. Ha ha ha. Uh. Right. Woo. Alright, so we will get to. We'll get down to Nimona's house, and then we will roll for what starter we get. Um, I have and you're going with either Fue Coco or Quaxley oh, because you originally went with the other one. I went with Brigatito, which was a very fun, very fun pick. I love its signature move. It's like, hey, do you want to crit? I was like, yes, I want to crit. Do you want to crit always? Yes, I want to crit always. Ah, oh, dang it. This, this camera is uh, like... 15 frames a second so when I nod my head vigorously it looks like my head's not moving <laughs> I'm doing well Spalak how about yourself first day at the new school only day at the new school then we'll go on an adventure Supposedly, supposedly, they say, they say that I'm going to be going to school for like weeks on end before this big adventure. I hear dog. I hear dog too. I don't really know why. Spock says they're playing some Scarlet. I see. I'm pretty sure. What about you, Spock? Which charter did you choose? Apparently, I'm the unpopular one. Ding dong, <laughs> Daniel Sprung! <clears throat> oh, uh, also, if you're in stream chat, you can uh, request um, what I name my Pokemon. I have veto power, but uh, for the most part... Uh, <laughs> I'll wait know. to see what you choose. Parker! HR's here! Uh, all right, man, man, you gotta get the door. Yes, I'm gonna get the door. Mom. From dog stream. Hello. I wish. I don't have a camera down there. <laughs> Keep it clean. Keep mm. it clean. Ooh, I mean, if he picks Quaxley, I'm going Donald. Please no. <laughs> find a find a better duck to name my starter after. Uh, okay, Scrooge. Darkwing. It's Ooh. not a dark type. I, I can change it to the Terra to Dark type. Ooh, Daffy, that's Daffy. not bad. What's the um, Ducktales? What's the three kids' names? Huey, Louie, and something. I'll take uh, I'll take one of those. I'm not against one of those. We have Life Academy. Is like a hurricane. Yeah, you're in Duck World. Um, <laughs> I'm a happy Academy. I was probably the late arrival of the moment. I, I will cease to call it. If I get Quaxley, I will cease to call it Paul Dea, and I will call it Duck World. Um, Directive Uva Academy. You may have Mr. Clavel. Gavel. So one thing I mentioned with my roommate was it's interesting that we don't hear or see anything more about the grape or the orange because in the original promotional trailer, they really tried to push those like the iconography. Mm. Kiwi, Dewey, That's and Louie. Kiwi, Dewey, and Louie. Uh, documents. I like that. What was the... the name of the one that flew the plane? I liked mm, that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <to> Google. <laughs> I like that the one instance of like handing over items, like all of the rest of them are like the blank, the empty hands just releasing an item. 
but in this one instance, I have a bag of documents for you. Hands the bag of documents over. Isn't it also interesting that it's every other couple games, you're the foreigner from out of town? It's always that way. That's not. Isn't it? Red and blue, you were you lived there. I thought you moved in. In uh, nope. Fire in Fire Red and Leaf Green, you moved there. You do? Okay. Yeah. I'd have so to go back and. You're always the awkward kid. <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure you're always the. Oh, hey, by the way. Um, welcome to town. Put on my hat and grab my bag, which I'm going to probably take promptly take my hat off once we get outside. Right. I think everyone does. Launch pad McQuack. Oh my god. That's what it was. I don't think Thank it'll fit. You. I don't think it'll fit, but I'll, I'll go with launch pad. Launch pad McQuack. Oh, that was such a good. One. I couldn't. I couldn't name my uh, my Ralts Kiki because Kiki is a slang term for uh, uh, waste number two in mm. uh, in Spanish. But I'm like, it's it's Kiki for Kiki's delivery service. I want to have like a fairy witch Pokemon. And I can't call it Kiki. Why? <laughs> Uniform of our storied academy suits you well. Launch pad. Jeez, I Ah. You got him. You got him right in the nostalgia bone. Uh, there's something else for me to miss Tamamo. My living room is hardly the place for it. Yes, th thank you for being considerate, Gavel. Stop calling him Gavel. I'm not going to stop calling him Gavel. Ah! I just had a chance he disappeared into thin air. Ooh. You know, I still haven't found a shiny Chansey even after doing all of the grinding. I've done like six or seven of those. Um, the first time I ever found a shiny Chansey out of uh, Pokemon Go mm -hmm. was when we got Let's Go. I was randomly going from Fuchsia City back up to Lavender Town. Mm -hmm. In one of those stretches of grass, I was like, wait, what's wrong with that Chansey? And then my friend is like, dude, that's shiny. I was like, what? All right, the shiny locked Pokemon between Frigatito, Quaxley, and Flitogo. Oh, oh, congratulations. Another shiny I haven't found yet. Actually, if I plug in, give me one second. Okay. I'm curious. If I plug in my headphones and Bluetooth connect them to my Switch, will I have... Uh, will I have... audio coming out of my Switch HDMI and my headphones? Uh, Bluetooth audio, Galaxy Buds, Connect Device. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, it seems to have removed. It seems to have removed. Oh, okay. Was was the game audio too loud? Okay, so Apparently I can hear. It was. Okay. Um, I can hear. I... All right, I'm gonna have to do some weird stuff later because I don't have I don't have the cords with me I'm going to disconnect that that should auto disconnect there we go um, yes Bollock if, if the game audio is too loud let me know if you can't hear us let me know um, I had to mute it since we're both now talking <laughs> uh, um, yeah I just turned it down a little bit more too so um Anytime I switch stuff out and adjust stuff, it always barks up audio. There is a method where I can go from the, the 3.5 millimeter jack on the top of the switch to a 3.5 to quarter inch adapter in my mixer and plug it in as an audio source. Mute the output. Actually, it would automatically mute the output from the video capture and then go into my mixer where then I can hear it and balance it via the mixer here and all of the mixer input stuffs are then going to go out to the stream so realistically i could make it work it's just going to require another cable yay
more cable. Yeah, I my my desk is already a mess again. So, <laughs> yeah, it never ends. We must visit the next home, aka the next mansion. Rich girl Nimona. The next semester has begun. Oh, if you're wondering, like, hey, there's a weird blank space down below my game capture. Um, that would be for, I think they call it Poka Link, um, which is like a team display um, that works with a variety of different software. Um, they are working on a version. It's currently in beta and for their patrons, um, a version that will actually display uh, the Scarlet and Violet teams uh, with some manual input. And I will be using that once that update gets pushed to everybody because I'm not a Patreon backer. I haven't used it a whole heck of a lot, so I don't have a big reason to, to back them on Patreon. Um, but that um, streamer tool that they have is pretty awesome. So, <coughs> I will walk around with these three. I got a phone. By the way, look, they just handed me nothing. Thanks, Mom. You handed me nothing. And then a Rotom phone just appeared in my bag. It's a brand new phone. Thanks, Mom. And then we hit the side on the D-pad to where we can change our outfit. Um... Am I thinking about learning to PvP in this game? Mm, not really. I'm not against it. Not against PvP. Um, I just... Uh, don't know how much fun I think I would have. Uh, I'm just not a super competitive person, to be honest. Um... So I don't think I would be um, um, I don't think I would enjoy it, to be honest. I think the the, the raid battles um, I've been having enough fun with. Um, spending too much time on it, I want to play other games as well. Um, but yeah, like I... I uh, Sprigatito, where'd you go? Not that I super care, but there it is. Got caught in the fence. Sprigatito. You goober. Get yourself uncaught from the fence. Thank you. Pathfinding. I know it's difficult. Thank you. Um. Um. Yeah, I just, I'm, I don't have... If I had a competitive bone um, in my body, it uh, got devoured for calcium resources um, and doesn't exist anymore. I just don't want to entertain that side of me, really. Um, there's poor experiences as a kid playing video games with other people competitively, so um, I just stopped caring. Or stopped wanting to do that so <gasps> the starters where are they there they are adorable oh yeah you weren't kidding about that encounter power it replaced everything with chance <laughs> yep yeah. Yeah. Chance to use double. Are you these the know. three's trainers? God, I wish I could train all three of them. That would be cool. Miss Tamamo's yet to make her choice, you see. We're almost there. We're almost going to make the choice. History is about to be made, folks. We're going to flip the coin. Quax is just like, drop that berry, Fuecoco. You absolute goober. <laughs> uh, 
Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Buenas. We've not met, met, met yet, have we? Must, uh, must say, we're, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite soon. Yes, I'm a speedy, speedy trainer. Hang on, director. Is this what I think it is? Yes, this is the newest student, Miss Tomamo. She'll be attending as of today. I am the transfer student. Hello. From a far off region that they don't name. Or maybe not that far off region. Maybe the DLC will have my quote unquote hometown or something. I don't know. Some place that doesn't have the school. Uva Academy. Uh, what do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? Uh, yes. Why would I say no? Hi, I'm Goku. Why would I say no? Hey, do you want to be friends? You know what? No. I don't think so. We should battle right now. I don't have a Pokemon. So calm yourself. <clears throat> Neighbors and classmates. Yep, I'm going to be in class 1A or whatever. Some sort of thing. I get to choose which three I want. What is my first partner Pokemon? All right. Window capture. You get to tell me. Is it Quaxley or is it Fuecoco? Spin. We got Quaxley! <laughs> Congratulations! Palm. That's Quaxley, a water type Pokemon. It may seem quiet, but it's mightly, mighty streams of water can put out any fire. You'll see. Our good water type Pokemon Quaxley here. Yes. LP McQuach? McQuack? LP McQuack. Yes. Should I go L dot P dot? I think launch pad's one word. Well, I know, but I only have 12 spaces here. I only have a 12. Right, so putting periods is adding two more to each. Give me a second. Let's see if it'll work. <laughs> it will. Just barely. That is the maximum amount of characters we can have. LP McQuack. Mr. McQuack was my father. Please just call me. Launchpad. All right, so now we will have a water type. We are going to have kind of a hard time with grass type encounters. Um, so let's hope we get a bug for the next region. Speaking, of, speaking of, I have to um, throw that into my... Um, name generator or my my spawn generator here south province area one um oh no i have shiny hunt as a possibility for this one too oh i'm gonna regret this Part of me is hoping for Paul Day and Wooper. That's going to make this game pretty easy. You didn't use Quasire? No, I did not. Hmm. Houndor will help for the first two gyms. Um, let's see. As I'm 
need to find a better way to do this. Um, oh. Uh, there is a better way to do this. Holy cow, chance to give a lot of XP. There we go. <laughs> There's like 10 chances down here. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. There's so many. Let's see. So, Orikoru, uh, we've got Wingle, Surskit, Deerling, Fletchling, Scatterbug, Orikoru, Pom Pom, Leech Honk, Tarantula, Pommy, Fido, Houndor, Paldean, Whooper, Hopip, and Shiny Hunt. Okay, cool. I'm scared, but it's ready. All right. Please raise it with love and care. Keep it tucked in its nifty little Pokeball. I'm going to take some water. No one's redeemed to hydrate, but uh, I got to get I some I was just water about to ask if you want me to redeem any of those. I mean, you have infinite points, so no. Because you don't <laughs> count. <laughs> Oof, thanks. Thanks, Steven. Get schmucked. Get schmucked. Shockers. Get schmucked. This is the wrong finger. It's a chancy party. Oh my gosh, they all just ran off in different directions. Yeah, you either got to approach approach them quickly or approach them with stealth. Oh, I that's like, fine. I, I like the stealth method. Colonel, there's so many chancy. <laughs> chancy. It's like the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Did you not receive a Pokemon? She she declined the opportunity to have a free Pokemon. She was like, pass. I already have my team set. By the way, we never see what team that is. If she became champion and was so dominant, why can't we see what, what team she was running? Rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Mr. Mamo here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes. Yes. Namon is the snake. She's a snake. She's going with a type disadvantage. Joke's on her. I know how type charts work. Now we join we have to battle. Be waiting for you down at the beach. Life's a beach, and I'm here to party. <laughs> That's one of the dumbest things I've ever said. I'm sorry. Battle Nimona. Wait, can I talk to Clavel? What does Clavel say if I go to talk to him again? I uh, was hoping you'd join her at the beach, wasn't she? She'd better be savvy. You agreed to battle with her. Can I just leave? Nope. Nope, it prevents me from leaving. Dang it. That's too bad for her. I'm going to kick her butt. It's almost guaranteed that you win. Um, Actually... <laughs> I was watching um, a, it was a item only battle or an item only run. Um, so someone basically uh, item spammed, didn't use moves or uh, didn't use any attacking moves. Um, they had things like Sandstorm. I think, no, did they use any attacking moves? I don't even know if they used any uh, moves. Uh, but they found Pokemon with things like Sandstorm and gave it uh, the Rocky Helmet and stuff um, so that it was all passive damage and basically spammed items um, so that the opponent's Pokemon would get to um, Thrash or whatever the Pokemon or whatever the move you have left um, after removing all of your PP um, to KO themselves. So depending on the Pokemon, they had... Um, pressure to remove reduce pp faster and then things like sandstorm um to do chip damage while they just spammed items on their own pokemon and i was like that's so that's so creative and absolutely ridiculous and i love it so the benefit here is i'm not worried these first couple um, 
these first couple of battles I'm not super worried about. Um, also because it's a more casual Nuzlocke, I'm just going to be healing up all the time. Um... Um, I'm going to take my time in this first region too, so um, I'll be over-leveled for... Honestly, I think probably the biggest thing that I have to worry about right off the bat is the Nimona fight at the end of Poco Path. Um, uh, yeah, we're just going to water gun. Launch pad. Um, half damage. It's probably going to hit Ember. Um, that art uses pound. No, nope, Ember, and we're fine. Um, Do you remember if Dragon Dance is a TM? I think so. I believe so. Um, yeah, the first couple of battles I'm not super worried about. It's not until we get to the Nimona fight at the end of Poco Path where she will have her Palmy Terastalize. Um, that's when I think I'm going to be scared. So there's, uh, fingers crossed I can get, oh, you know what? Her Pommy's going to terastalize and I have a water type starter. Um, I need something that's going to be super effective or I, or I need to be significantly higher level. Um, so... I'm nervous. I mean, if I get... The benefit is if I get Paldea and Wooper, um, I have something that resists both of her Pokemon. That could more or less sweep. So, I just have to get there. Uh, and Interesting. Bro, Garchomp can't learn Dragon Dance. It can learn Sword Stance. Can't learn right. Dragon Dance. Yeah. I guess that would make it a bit overpowered, huh? What uh, what all does Dragon Dance boost? Attack and speed, one stage. Mm, yeah, because it's already, uh, it's an attack and speed monster. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, realistically, Swords Dance is already pretty solid anyway. Um, right. I think it can learn Screech two to reduce defense, so it can already be kind of a. Like in PVE, you can already set up. So uh, they're gonna give me the Pokedex, which is fantastic. I need that. Um, oh my goodness, this this cinnamon roll is staring at me and has been staring at me for a while. But um, I'm in the middle of the stream and I can't I can't eat it now. You will have to wait. All right. Former teacher, Mr. Jacques, made it himself. Blah, 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 Can Garchomp not naturally learn Earthquake? I call shenanigans on that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it can. Check its uh, move list. Good old Cerebi.com or Cerebi.net. It feels like it's an egg move because I, I just leveled up one to 100 and it's not showing mm -hmm. up as an option. It might be a TM. It. It might be a TM, but it can for sure learn it. Right. Because I know Earthquake. I think Earthquake is a TM, so I, and I don't think that's something that I can learn by default. So. If it is, I don't have a TM for Earthquake. Mm. Is it? That's one of those things that I could probably be egg taught, though. Potentially. Probably never caught a wild Pokemon. All right, so then I got to talk to like three other people before I get to catching the Pokemon. Follow Namona. Namomna. Snake Lady. Oh, by the way, my mom's here. Whack. Hi, mom. Namona will be taking me to school. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, 
The only downside is when um, oh. um are the TM machines location based too? No. Like items? No. No, the only so um the only items that are location based are in stores. Um, all Pokemarts associated with the Pokemon Center stations um, have access to the same items in all locations. And the same thing with TMs. If you know how to make a TM, um, you will be able to... If you know how to make a TM and have the materials for it, you will be able to make that TM wherever. Or at whatever Pokemon Center. Pokestop. I don't... Actually, do they call them Pokestops? Because they should be. I can't make Earthquake... Why can't I make Earthquake? Give me a second. Let me go to... Cerebi. Is it because it's one of those power teams and you're only allowed to have Arch. one? No. Garchomp. Oh, it's the stupid... Beat this many trainers and then unlocks. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, TM 149 Earthquake. Locations Area Zero or Kaskarafa. So you can buy it. But that's where do you buy TMs? Oh, uh, sorry. It's in Koskarafa. So it's either in Area Zero or it's in Koskarafa. So it's not something that can be made then? You can make it. You might just have to get one first to be able to put it in your move decks or whatever, okay. what have you. So. so you can run around Area Zero and potentially find one there. I got a sandwich. And five potions. And I think Pokeballs? Do I get Pokeballs from my mom or no? My bed will always be made for me. I'm 12. Next to the calf center we'll have... Come on, vamos. This way. I should name a yeah. Pokemon after... He, the, the guy at the Pokemon Center had it. Okay. I should name a Pokemon after Spanish F1 driver Carlos Sainz. <clears throat> All right, here we are. Poco Path, technically not labeled something different. Um, we're going to spin... For what Pokemon we get, because there's a small chance we get Lechonk. And if we get Lechonk, we can just catch the first one. But we could get something else. So again, uh, Lechonk, Oricorio, Scatterbug, Fletchling, uh, Deerling, Surskit, Wingull, we have uh, uh, Hopip, Paldean Wooper, Houndor, Fido, Pommy, Tarantula, Tarantula, sorry, Round, Tarantula, or having to do a shiny hunt. Jim and Sam, you're going to the F1 race in Vegas? Holy cow, dude. I can't Jerry. imagine the cost for that. I've heard it's ridiculous. All right, we're spinning. Um, Please, 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 for the love of God, don't give me the shiny hunt. No, we got Hound Hour. That's not a bad one. It's not a bad one for the first couple of gyms, but the problem is it's not going to help me beat Palmy in uh i mean it can palmy shouldn't have a fighting move yet <laughs> yeah but it's still palmy's gonna be terastalized so okay <laughs> um all right we got hound hour i got my garchomp made which means i can catch hound hour i think i can can i encounter hound hour in a tunnel um i think i can encounter hound hour in the tunnel Right off the bat. Um, I don't know if I can catch one or if I have to re-enter the tunnel after the fact, but. All right, now here's the thing. Do I encounter a shiny ahead of time? Because if I encounter the shiny ahead of time, 
that takes precedence. Dang. Oh, so wait, are you? do you have tickets to the F1 race, or are you just watching it from the condo? Because if you're just watching it from the condo... Can I come? If he's watching be... it from the condo, do you have choice words? <laughs> huh? If he's watching it from the condo, do you have choice words? What does that mean? Never mind. Yeah, I'm confused. Um. All right, wild Pokemon out in the grass. I don't know if the first Lechonk is shiny locked or not. Right next to the Cosmo. Huh. Good old Pokeball. All right. Give me those. Five Pokeballs. Yay. All right. The first Lechonk is not shiny. Again, if I encounter a shiny in a, in, in a particular region, it then supersedes and subs out the Pokemon that I have caught from that region. Unfortunately. But hey, shiny odds for the beginning of the game are next to zero. So an absolute abysmal, like one in fourth, one in 8,000? Or is it fourth? Did they drop it down to 4,000? I don't remember. Excuse me. Yep, I know. I know how to catch a Pokemon. I know how to catch a Pokemon, but in this case, we're going to destroy the Pokemon. <gasps> Tackle. Out. Water gun. Jim is him. Yes, I am. This is Violet. I'm starting a Violet save. Um, it's a kind of uh, super chill Nuzlocke. Um, I'm not playing with hardcore rules where I have to like keep an eye on my level. Um, I can grind as much as I want here. Um, nothing. I don't release any Pokemon if they faint. Um, it's like dark. I I I I consider it like a Dark Souls style, where if all of my Pokemon faint, they all revive, but all of my items get turned into Luxury Balls, um, and I cannot use Luxury Balls. So basically, I start with uh, all of my Pokemon revive, but I come with zero money, zero LP, and zero items. So um, it turns into a major setback, but all of my Pokemon still are around. Um... Have some more Pokeballs. Oh no, I fainted the first Pokemon I was supposed to catch. I don't care. I don't care. Um, the cool thing here is that um, I have not used a Houndour before. Houndour or Houndoom. Well, so, okay, I take that back. I did have a Houndoom for the Ghost Gym because I felt, I don't know why. I don't know why. I felt like I needed to be really prepared for the Ghost Gym like overly prepared for the ghost gym. So I got myself a normal Terra type Umbreon so that I could be absolutely resistant entirely to ghost. And I grabbed a ghost Terra type Houndoom, which is in the tunnels underneath the psychic type gym, I think. Um, just because, and I really did need it because I had Tinkaton on my team. So, I was fine. Plus, I had um, Meowskarata at that point, so I had a dark type, dark type move. So I was absolutely perfect. So, um, all right. So Houndoom. I don't think Houndoom spawn here in this region. Auto heal. Oh, I got to turn auto heal off. That's right. Options. Uh, or no, auto heal is a button. I just don't have to. Hit. I just want to avoid hitting the button or er, yeah i think auto heal is a button so all right we're gonna grab some items i could probably knock out some pokemon here um we're scanning we're scanning small chance of a shiny we're scanning no well actually you know what i can knock you out that's fine um Yeah, let's knock this out. Let's get a little bit of XP. I'm not super worried about IVs. Or not IVs. EVs. 
not super worried about it. I shouldn't have to worry about it, especially if I'm overleveled. Um, <clears throat> it's just overleveling and being somewhat aware of what I'm going up against. Um, work up. Nice. We're going to have a little bit of buffs. That's good. Um, sometimes I forget that there are some small slopes I can still walk up. There was a particular guide I was looking up because I ha was trying to find trying to find what spawned in each region so I could make my, my lists of what I would uh, have the chance of getting um, in each, each particular region. There was one guide that said Charcadet spawned in this area. And I was like, where in the world does Charcadet spawn in this area? Um, though multiple other guides said that Charcadet was not in the spawn pool for area one. So um, I was like, all right, that's a weird... Um, this is probably a bad idea. Probably not a great idea to be going up against a grass type. Though I don't think anything can faint me here. Um, lowers their attack stat. Uh, attack and special attack. We're going to work up and then probably pound. Because water gun might not be doing as much damage. Um... Oh, it has splash. Okay, we're fine. It's, as long as it doesn't have a grass type move. Because um, if it has a grass type move, I'm done. Done for. Cool. We're fine. Um, I'm probably just going to fight one of each species that are around here just to get the dex entries. Um, what's up, Hopip? Just hanging out behind me. It's a little creepy. Um, get some dex entries, get some XP. All that jazz. All that jazz in a bag of sauce. I don't know. <clears throat> Another dumb thing I've... More dumb things I've said never said before. around Chua. Paralyze heal. That will come in handy. Not at all, to be honest. Um, revive. I should fight that Palmy. No, actually I won't. Not until I get Hound, uh, hound Hour. Um, let's fight Scatterbug. That's fine. <coughs> Battle water gun. Hit it with some stab moves. Tackle's doing like two damage. I don't have to worry too much there. Jesse, are you still alive? Did you pass out? Nope, I'm still here, but I'm gonna have to leave here shortly. Yep. You've got work tomorrow and I don't. Just setting up to train my shiny Ralts and Bra's arm that I got today. Apparently, not a lot of people get Martin Luther King Jr. Day off. Um, I, my mom was like, you have Martin Luther King Jr. Day off? And I'm like, yeah. Uh, the only reason I can think of why they would do that um, is so they don't have to pay overtime hours. Um, because if you work, if you work the two days around a holiday, you can get holiday pay. But it doesn't count as a working day, so it doesn't. Those holi the holiday pay hours don't count as the don't count towards the forty hours you would work in a week to then get overtime. So the eight hours of Monday that we get paid for don't count to, uh, don't count as eight hours towards the forty. So you'd have to work an additional eight hours in the other four days of the week, or potentially five, depending on. Uh, five or six, depending on how many days you're working in a week, um, for then it to classify for overtime hours. So it kind of just reduces the amount of overtime hours they have to pay out. It's the only reason I can think of because working for a big corporation, that's just how that works. Um, they want to, um, you know, they kind of want to screw you out of m extra money and they want to be greedy and penny pinching. So, um, but hey, I get tomorrow right. off. What? Missing something? Where would the 
ability patches and stuff be? That's under the um, other items, isn't it? Yep, found it. Yep. I'm done. Yeah, some of the collection of items in the bag don't make a whole heck of a lot of sense as far as like they could have made their own pouches or put them into a different pouch. But I don't know. Uh, Rotom phone will keep me safe, but be careful <laughs> of the cliffs. Honestly, rather than holding on to the Rotom phone when you fall, the Rotom phone should hold on to you. It should, like, grab your backpack or something. Especially since you're required to have a backpack on, you can't remove it. Um, potion, potion. All right, we're close to where we will find Hound Hour. There's a small chance we will find a shiny Hound Hour, which would be kind of cool. But I will also probably miss it because its shiny is not that much different. Does it keep that really small um, difference in color in both uh, Hound Hour and Hound Doom? For the shiny? Yeah. I mean, it's just more of a blue. Okay. But it, it really the shiny between it and its uh, Hound Hour and Hound Doom are both that just slight change. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I know in some cases the. Um... Oh. Time for me to go, sir. Okay. Have a good night. Have a good time. Yep. Electro Blake. We get to play some card games on motorcycles. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. We're going fast. We're going down fast. And we are somehow... Our, our upper body and core strength must be insane to be able to hold on to the Rotom phone um, without falling and absolutely destroying ourselves. Um, so, you know. What up, homie? Robo Dragon. Seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. You know, you would think a super potion or a revive would work. It doesn't seem to. It doesn't seem like that'll do the trick. Maybe try something else. Yeah, you would just dislocate both shoulders, collapse on the ground, and probably die. So you know, of course, we have to give it a sandwich because that's what will perk you up from almost dying. Sandwiches. I'm not sponsored, but eat Subway. It'll heal you and prevent you from dying. Make you immortal. Subway, eat fresh. Uh, Bubsay. Bubsay sandwiches. No. Also, it's a robot. Does it have standard digestion? Is that a thing? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think I've seen the battle variant of Miraidon. So I'm interested. I'm interested to see it powered up. He needs a jump start. Yeah, they don't give you a sandwich. In Scarlet, it's uh, sandwiches. In Violet, it's uh, jumper cables. <laughs> You have to make batteries. Autobots transform. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's the battle form. It just, uh, its legs turn into rockets and its handlebars become electricity. Yeah, I am significantly more impressed with um, Karaidon's look than Miraidon. Though I would say Miraidon's typing is maybe... Nah, it's not more... Is Karaidon... Karaidon's not the first fighting dragon we've ever had, is it? Maybe? I mean, Mira they both look really cool, but I have to say that Karaidon, I think, personally, is a little bit cooler. Also, it's shiny is better. 110% it's shiny is better with Karaidon than, than Miraidon. Yeah, I know, Dragon Dad. I'm coming. 
you know, be like, I need to hold your hand. We're crossing the street. Look both ways. Yes, Dragon Dad. All right, here's the question. Can I catch, encounter, and catch one of the Hound Hour here? Um, because the sooner I can, the better. Wow, that, that rock pop in. Oi, Tamamo. Tiny, tiny Nimona. Look out, guys. It's tiny Nimona. I'm, I'm managing. I popped both arms out of my shoulder sockets. You should still be worried. I can't throw Pokeballs. I can't throw Pokeballs. My arms are limp. Mirai done used rock smash. The hound hour are fleeing. Um, okay, so we have There's Hound Doom. There's Young Goose. Young Geese. Young Geese the Meese. What's up, Hound Doom? Okay, I can encounter them. I will fight some things here. Get some XP. Um Wow, they're only level two? Holy cow. Yeah, its eyes are like LED screens. Jim is him. They're like uh, LED panels. LED walls or something like that. Hey, we had a level 8. Nice. Alright, where is that hound, hound hour? Give me that. Thank you. Potion. There should be some items just hanging out here. Diglett. Wait, did I have Diglett on my... I don't think I had Dig did I rem maybe I removed Diglett from my spawn pools. Okay, I just can't go that way. Fascinating. Um I don't know if it will let me encounter a hound hour here. It might, but it might not. Cause I know I'm gonna it's gonna force me to fight a hound hour. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna like force me to lose. Hey, Battle Ram, what's up? Um, so far, so good. Our starter is Quaxley, uh, nicknamed LP McQuack after Launchpad McQuack. Uh, we'll be getting a Hound Hour here shortly. That is what we rolled on our um, uh, spawn table. I might have removed Diglett from the the pie chart, the rolling chart. So, um, um, I might just not have the opportunity to get a Diglett in my party, which is fine. Though realistically, that would have been a reasonable one against Bommy. Um, something's coming. Oh, we forgot to do this. Wait, you didn't do the Cinder Race at all? It was around for two weekends. I mean, theoretically, they I think they've said that there's a chance that it's going to come back um, in some, some shape or form. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if at some point they do, like, a random um, where, like, multiple will spawn. Okay, so here's the battle, in which case they're going to force. Uh, I don't technically faint here, which would be hilarious if, like, technically... Uh, technically, you've lost. Your your only Pokemon has now fainted. Well, actually, my only Pokemon has fainted. Um, it just leaves and goes into its Pokemon. It's like, nope. Which is the only time it ever does that. Beat him. Beat him. Look at so many. Look at all these Hound Hour. There's more Hound Hour on screen for this cutscene than there can be in any g <laughs> in any moment in the game. Yeah, Battle Ram, we can get you some. We can get you some Score Bunny for sure. Um, but I I imagine at some point those raids will come back um, in one way or another. Um, I don't know if they're gonna bring them back as like 
less than uh, seven stars or if they are going to be guaranteed seven stars at some point, but um, they'll be around. But it was confirmed that the next one's going to be poison type Greninja, which I kind of thought when they announced that it was going to be a poison type, I was like, yeah, that's probably going to be a Greninja. It just makes sense because it's a big frog, like a, a tropical frog. I thought you were both goners. Um, I'm curious to see what the suggestions for raid builds are going to be for Greninja. Uh, Jesse and I were spitballing some things. Realistically, unless it, uh, as long as it doesn't have a dark type move, um, things that we used last, um, uh, things that we used last raid for, um, Cinderace, um, uh, slow bro, slow king, armor rouge, not as much. It's probably it's most definitely going to have a water type move. Um, um, some of that stuff is still going to be pre uh, potential, uh, potential usage. Um, Ozomeril is going to be out. I just don't think that, that works, uh, or it, just, it won't. It won't work. Period. Um, Espathra might be one thing that kind of works, but again, again, it's frail. I don't know if that's going to work well. Um, and again, question mark on if it has a dark type move. Um, I think if Score Bunny, if Score Bunny and Char, or uh, if Cinderace and Charizard um, are anything to go by, it's going to have a, at least one move of each of its two types original. And then one coverage move, one coverage move of a type it doesn't have. And then one move for its Terra type. Um, battle bond would make sense if it, if we're going to have, um, if that's going to be its gimmick, if like once it's shield breaks or something, it's going to turn into, um, Ash Greninja and just be absolutely bonkers stat wise or something. Um, because Charizard's was, it powered up into the sun and did big damage once the shield was broken. And then, um, Cinderace was just it using bulk up like at least once per turn. Um, so, yeah, uh, Libero and, or, uh, yeah, Lib, um, Libero and Protean is just not going to do anything. That's the thing. It doesn't do anything in raids. So, um,. It doesn't it it only works on a base Pokemon. It doesn't work in raids and it doesn't work on a terrestrialized Pokemon. A Pokemon will not change its terrestrial type via Libero or Protean. Gauss. It's a mysterious Pokemon. We have to be we have to solve this mysteries. Am I Mike Tyson's from Mike Tyson's Mysteries? No, that's maybe. No, probably not. Do, 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 do. What are we changing? What are we exchanging? We need to obtain Swift. Yay, Swift. A move that I'm not going to use in this instance. We're just not going to use it. Um. Okay. No. I'm actually going to pop back into that cave and get a hound door. Can I go back in that cave and get a hound door? Oh. Wait, can I go? Do I have to beat Arvin? Probably have to beat Arvin. That's a bummer. Okay. Because I don't think hound hour spawns anywhere but there. On in South Province area one. So let's see if I can get the Pokeball from Arvin and go back into that cave. Arvin's a jerk until he's not a jerk. He's like... Uh, I'm trying to remember, trying to think of like what food would Arvin be? 
where he's like tough on the outside and like sweet and careable on the inside. I don't know what it is. Maybe he's like a taquito. Yeah, he's like a taquito. He's crunchy on the outside. Delicious on the inside. Arvid the taquito. <laughs> uh, save me from a tight spot. Or let's say it's like a Tootsie Pop. It's a hard exterior with a not so better but sweet interior. Box management's a little rough, Spalock. I went and did as little as possible as far as like just catching a bunch of stuff. Um, I did get a way, 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 way too many Char Cadets to try and find a good one with the right ability uh, or the right nature. And then did the EV raids for all the different Terra types. Like, I caught a bunch of them. I really didn't need to. Um, Miraidon. A guy it is. Um, it's, it's the lab is locked. You can't get in. Um, I'll fight you. Arvin, I'll fight you. Um, yeah, I did have to clear out a bunch of, uh, a bunch of the Eevees and Char Cadets. I think that I did a little bit of that with Ryalu, but, uh, um, breeding things to get the right Terra type. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Um, what I would do is just, if I have enough of the Terra type, I would just do enough of the Terra type. Um. Um, I, if I had enough terror shards, I would just use the terror shards because that's, I mean, the dragon and the fighting, I have a ton of those, um, from the raids. Um, but I would just catch the uh, wild one, um, with, you know, catch a, a couple with the, catch a couple and try and find the, um, the right terror type because the benefit is the nature mints, the nature mints bottle caps, and uh, EV training is super easy. So, like, I, I'm not super worried. Um, yes, Dad? Parker Pup? Um, all right, so I'm fighting a normal type. And then I have to go and see if I can fight. See if I can't go get a Hound Hour. Um, that will give me a Fire type, Fire Dark type, which isn't bad. That gives me coverage on Sprigatito. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, on the long run, I think Hound Hour is not going to be. Type wise, isn't going to be all that bad. It's not super bulky. Um, but again, I can over level, so I'm not super worried about it. Yay, we beat Arvin. Oh my goodness, that was so difficult. Yes. I know he's not really a hardcore trainer, but. Do I, fa I fought him at the end. At the end of his, like, route. I fought him and got bodied. Like, I think I was a little underleveled. But also, his team is nasty. It had all of the right coverage moves. I was like, oh, I can type advantage this one. No, I couldn't. I could type advantage this one. No, no, I could not. Um, so, yeah, that was a little, was a little rough. Um, yep, give me the Pokeball. Thank you. You're right on Pokeball. Good luck. He does it's it's called oh, we're playing Pokemon Daddy issues, okay? Okay, Namona. We're not gonna go into it right now. We have to like raise our bond level with Arvin to then get to the daddy issues part. So, you know. Just take a deep breath. 
We'll get there. What up, homie? Get in your Pokeball so I can then go catch Houndour. Maybe, probably. I hope so. I hope so. You're not going to battle him. Actually, I don't even think there's she ever battles him. Does she ever battle him? I don't know if she ever battles him. Um, oh, it's right here at the top of the White House. Um, so at some point here, she's going to let me go explore. It's really handholdy. Uh, oh, goodness. Recording for an hour and 20. Um, yep, that's our school. I got to get there. We're going to be in the same class for like 30 minutes and then we're not going to. It's pretty solid. It's also a fly location, so that's nice. Look to your left, look to your right, look down the center. It's time to fight. Oh. Does he does she ask to battle right here? Welcome to Paldea. Thank you. Um, what did I say it was gonna be called? Duck World? Welcome to Duck World. Um Launchpad McQuack is gonna just take us. Just gonna take us far. Plus Platos, that's the right way. Come on. Okay, let me go back and catch my second Pokemon. Please. Please. It might not let me. I don't know. I can't get on my Pokemon. Which means I might not be able to get there. Um, okay. Okay. So here's a problem. I don't think I can get over there. Nope. Nope. All right, here's a question, chat. Do you know if I can get Houndour in another place other than that cave on Area 1? Um, because I kind of, I rolled for Houndour, and I am kind of stuck with Houndour now. Um. Hmm. Do I have Cerebi open still? Can I double check? I do have Cerebi open. Um. Let's see. We're gonna go to Scarlet and Violet Pokedex. We are gonna go to Fire. We are going to. Where is Houndour? Um. Let's see. In Violet, Inlet Grotto, South Province, Area 4, Terry Battles, Two Star Raids. Uh, <coughs> South Province, Area 1 is what it technically says. So, uh, technically speaking, so as of, let me pop this open. So as of Cerebi, Cerebi is saying that Houndour can be found within, I don't know if my mouse is there, this, these two orbs down at the bottom. Um, now here's the question. No, nope, it's being weird. Um, biomes, rock, and cave. So I need to find rock and cave. Uh, um, hmm. So let's see. That's, I might have just absolutely got myself into a heap of trouble. By accidentally rolling that. Um, yeah, rock and cave is what it says. So. 
Um, and I don't know if there really is. Yeah, it sounds like a re-roll, but like it's part of area one. So like, I, uh, I don't know. Does that mean I can't get, cause I can't get up there until I can't get up until I get, uh, Miraidon as a rideable Pokemon. Um, I can't get down there. <sighs> yeah, I can't potentially get down there until I get rideable the ride on as well. The ride on won't have glide, but it can jump. I don't need the climbing feature. No, I just need the jump, which you get right off the bat. Um, becomes more active at night. But I don't think any of these are considered rock biomes. Like, I don't think... Uh, no, go away. No, there's too many of you. Um. Okay, I'm at max HP. Um, I don't. I don't know if it spawns here because I think all of this is considered grass. I don't think any of this is plains. Plus, I'd have to wait, which I'm not against doing, but it's a that's a long while. Just south of the lighthouse by your house is that available without the ride pokemon because i can double back let's fight this guy and double back and let's see if we can't find it um i don't know if i technically encountered it so i don't know if it's in my decks um technically speaking i can look actually you guys would be looking at the same information that i would be um Yeah, just south of the lighthouse by your house. That, I think, would be the cave entrance that's down below. Um, down below the cliff. But I can't jump off that cliff. Um, it's just not letting me. So. I don't really know if there's a whole lot I can do there. Hmm. But again, let's go give it a shot. Can I run? Hmm. I apparently, I am maybe already running. Let's go find out. So this is Poco Path. Though technically speaking, any Pokemon I catch here are already are still considered Area One. Yeah, things are dangerous ahead. Better not get too close. Like I've already jumped off there. Wow! It resets you in the middle of the path. Um, let's see. I mean, the, the only other thing is that there's a potential I get a shiny over here and that supersedes the hound hour before I catch it. So, but that means my luck would have to be insane and I don't think that's happening. Um, would it be down? Can I access it from down there? Maybe, maybe. Let's go look. Um, I'll probably go until nine. So I've got about 30 minutes left. I can't get on my ride Pokemon, which means I'm walking slow. We hanging out. We chill. Um, I mean, I was hoping I wasn't going to draw the shiny hunt chance, but uh, apparently that doesn't matter. Um, I got the one that's... Because a shiny hunt's improbable, not impossible. But apparently Houndour might just be uh might just be impossible. Cabo Poco. I don't need to worry about going back up. So let's see if we can access it via the beach over here. Um There is a small chance. Let's see, can I zoom in? Yep, the map app. Okay. Uh, first of all, we're going to reorient ourselves north. Um, okay, so there's no way to access it from there. And I don't think there's any way to access it from there. So if you're looking at just south, you'd be looking at Inlet Grotto. You'd be looking at there. Um, if you're looking over by your house, that might be considered rocky terrain, in which case a uh, Houndour would be able to spawn there. 
Um, other than that, I just don't think it's available. Can I walk that? I might be able to. I might be able to get really cheeky, but they might have also done their due diligence and prevented me from getting super cheeky. We'll find out. Yeah, that looks like an unscalable cliff. Mm. If only I had my ride Pokemon, I'd be able to jump up. Hmm. It's interesting that I could encounter... I could encounter uh, the... Um, what is it called? The weasel Pokemon from Alola. I could encounter that, no problem. But there were no hound hour in that in that area. So that's mm. hmm. I mean I could re-roll. Uh we got a DM. Um, yeah, I think the, so the, the place over by your, the house, um, that's all area two, I believe. So it's available in area two, um, area one slash Poco path. The two squares that I think are highlighted there on the decks are. Um, Inlet Grotto, which uh, is the the cave um, where you fight off the Hound Hour, um, the Hound Hour and the Hound Doom. So I just I don't know. Um, I mean, there's a small, tiny, teeny, tiny, small chance that I can find. I might just be, I might just be SOL, which like in the long run, it's available in that area. Um, it's it's in the spawn pool. That makes sense. That is not incorrect. It's just that when you're playing the game initially, you do not have access to a hound hour until coming back to it. Which is odd considering there are other like why would you limit that one Pokemon? Other than it's just a oversight I guess I don't know hmm. um hmm. yeah so it doesn't spawn in any of the other areas what's up Parker hey you doing how you doing bud hey pal hey let's give ourselves a small chance center yourself camera thank you um, give ourselves a small chance of getting a shiny here. Hello, bud. Yup, HR. He's just been hanging out. Hey, buddy. Alright. Executive decision. Do we re-roll and remove Hound Hour from the list? Because we cannot acquire it on the initial rotation. Watch your tail, bud. Um, I'm not super against it. But I also don't love that the first Pokemon we go to encounter, and it just doesn't end up working. <laughs> it's a little annoying. Um, I mean, there are other options here. I could also get absolutely borked and get, like, Azumarill or Psyduck. Is Psyduck on the list? That's all there is, area one. Let me double check my list. Psyduck's not on the list. Why? My list is incomplete. It's just not, it's not accurate. Where am I getting my information from? Psyduck are all over this route. 
guess I add Psyduck. All right. I don't really want to, but I will. Relax, pal. I know. I see what time it is. You don't have to tell me twice. All right, so Psyduck is here. We are going to remove... We are going to remove Houndour. Is there anything else here that we are able to see? I think technically, like, Ghastly is here via Weather Boost or via um, Night Spawn. Oh, I just can't see. That's why. Excuse me. That's why. Uh, let's do a quick save here. Um, let's see. Uh, Azrael's here. Which I don't want to use. I feel like I've already overused it with uh, Charizard Raid, so I'm going to remove that from the pool. I'm making the executive decision there to just not put it in the pool. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that I'm missing here? And the answer is I don't think so. Oof, absolutely minuscule. I almost I almost hit that spupa. I almost hit the spupa. Psyduck, Wingle's on the list. Uh it's a TM. Can I get up here? Yes. Protect. Which actually might be really clutch. Um, so I might even give... Oh, Flamigo's not on the list. And neither is Choodle, though I don't... Can I get any of this with Choodle without serving? Yeah, no, I can throw a Pokeball. Okay, so let's see about... Whoa, watch out. All right, so it, for at least an... Do we have a Magikarp on the list? Because I can encounter a Magikarp here. I can most certainly encounter a Magikarp here. Um, okay, so first of all, I will have to go through my lists on the in-between between, between uh, streams here uh, because these lists are inaccurate. Um, what the heck? Let's add... Magikarp for the list. Um, let's check the ruins and see if there's anything. Reroll and please be carp. Yeah, be uh, two waters on my team, making it super weak to paw me. Uh, and also, it doesn't evolve until like level 42. So it's getting swapped the first instance I can. Um, gross. <laughs> I can get gas. I can get ghastly here, and it's not even nighttime. Ghastly and drowsy. Okay. Okay, so we are updating this list for sure. Um, Ghastly. Drowsy. Probably misspelling drowsy. Magic card. Magic Harp. And. Uh, Flamigo. Okay. We're re rolling. We're trying this again. Um, I don't know where Surskit is. Oh, it's probably down at the waterfront. I know where Surskit would be. All right. What are we getting? 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 We're getting Fletchling! Sick. I'll take it. Uh, it's still a fire type. It's fly. Actually, it's normal flying, which means it's not going to have a fi flying fi uh, or a fire uh, terra type. If anything, there's a chance it's going to be a normal terra type, which is going to absolutely stink. Um, 
we can get it. We can get it. Uh, it's going to be a fire type, which is great. Uh, it's going to be a flying type in the future, which helps uh, some additional coverage since our... Um, what's it called? Our... Uh, starter is going to be water fighting in the future. So that works out. The only question is, where can I find it? I don't think Eagly Buff was on that list either. Um, so I just might be just messing up here. I, just, I think I think we're. You know what? I've spent enough time here. We're gonna we're gonna just kind of just gonna kind of do it. So. Hey, there we are. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers. Or no. What's the tiger put one? Do we have a tiger put one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch an incineroar by the toe. If he hollers, let him pay. $50 every day. My mom gave me five potions and you are not it. Uh, we're going with this end. Um... Please, 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 for the love of Arceus, be a flying type Terra. Please. Um, also, we're going to just immediately Pokeball it because we can. I'm not even looking. We caught it. We caught it. Yeah. All right. If you guys want to redeem channel points, because I'm sure you have a absolute bunch of them, uh, you can nickname or submit a nickname for Fletchling here. Um, out of the Pokedex. Yes, we're going to give it a nickname. Um, if you guys want to submit nicknames, you can do so now. Um, it is a female. It will turn into Talonflame, which we were actually just using um, earlier on. So, um, And if you want, we can try and keep Talonflame's move set to be very similar to what its move set is in Go. Um, I am not against having it have incinerate, incinerate, flame charge, brave bird, and maybe something else. Maybe roost. Roost might actually be pretty solid. So, um, should we nickname it Houndour? Should we nickname? Do we nick? Do we nickname it Houndour? Just you know, pay respects. I'm thinking we nickname it Houndour. But seriously, if you guys got better ideas. I'm willing to do it. Doing it is the joke. We're going to commit. We might commit to the bit here. Anything? Anything? Going once? Going twice? Three times? All right. I'm going to nickname it this now. If you guys come up with a better idea, let me know. Just post in the chat. Use them channel points. We're locking it in. Houndour has been added to the party. Welcome to the party, Houndour. <laughs> Fletchling. Register the Pokedex. All right, let's find out. What Terra type do we got? I need to know. Ah, it's normal. No. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> this, is, this is the worst. Um... Ah, it's terrible. It's absolutely abysmal. I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed. Um, let's see. Caught. Location: Cabo Poco, South Province Area One. All right. Yeah, I'm so bummed. Normal type. Terra, ah, that stinks. All right, we're gonna go. Um, hey, the list of TMs we can make has updated. Um, all right, let's go see if we can't reach Nimona and get some details on the Pokemon Center. Um, we are definitely not making it up to. Uh, Uva Academy. So we are going to have to hold off on that one. 
Uh, do I? Well, yeah, I only need 15 more minutes before we hit two hours, and that's okay. That's okay by me. We're streaming more today than I normally stream anyway, so um, normally I keep it to around two hours with the GBL sets I did earlier. Uh, we are over. We are over two hours. We are at two and a half. We're going to get to 245 or so for the day. My throat's not absolutely killing me, but it does feel like I bit my tongue at some point, and I certainly didn't do that. So, you know, fun. Fun times. Hopefully we're not getting a canker sore or something like that. Um, ooh, I could fight that dude. We could fight that dude. I don't know what Pokemon that guy's got. Let's, um... Let's do it. Save your progress. We'll keep Launchpad and the Quack in the front. What up, dude? Do you think you're top of me, the mightiest martial artist here? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm scared. Alejandro the Black Belt. What do you have? Rock rough. Perfect. I'm okay. Because I was like, is it, if it's going to be a fighting type, I'm scared. It's level 11. He has three Pokemon. I don't like this. He's lowering my defense. This is bad. This is very bad. Um, hmm. Leer again. This is very bad. We could lose a Pokemon right away. Um... Hmm. No, he is so much higher level. Sand attack. He's lowering my accuracy. Is he just doing this because? What is he doing? Water gun. And we missed. Okay. I don't like this at all. Sand attack again. Uh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh my god oh my god do we get do we get knocked out here do i go in with too much confidence and we get knocked out here all right we both leveled okay we both leveled up wing attack uh wait who's learning wing attack quaxley uh, lp mcquack launch pad um yes we are forgetting pound absolutely just not even worrying about it um, cool. Hound Ireland Quick Attack. Nice. Lechonk. Um, we're going to keep current Pokemon. Um, what level? How scared am I? Level 12. That's not great. Um, we're going to work up here. We're going to see if we can't get a little more damage output. Um,. Tail whip. What is he lowering here? My defense. He's lowering my defense further. Ah, I don't like this at all. Um, I have stab with water gun. I don't know if wing attack does more damage. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I got voice. What is this doing? Not a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, it's 60 base power? That's a lot. Let's go with wing attack, because he's lowered my, I think he's lowered my attack. He hasn't lowered my special attack. My special attack is boosted by one, so. Or no, he keeps lowering my defense. Although he's lowered my defense, and then he's using a special move, so. Echo, there's no way Echoed Voice is a physical move, so. Um, let's do another workup, and then we'll heal. Let's see if he does another echoed voice. Yep, does another echoed voice. Wow. Okay, that crit. No, that didn't crit. That rolled high. Um, let's see. So I have. I'm gonna use a super potion here because we can get more. I'm not super worried about that. Um, goodness gracious! Holy cow! 
Echo voice again. It's got to be a physical move. That's wild, because it's doing a ton more damage now. Okay. Um. Oh, it's got big pecs? Prevents Pokemon from having its defense stat lord. Um, it'll probably faint right away, but I don't like getting two shot by Echo Voice. Um, the only other option is... Uh, yep. Yeah. We're going to get KO'd here. Uh, the benefit is I don't have a whole lot of items to transfer. The problem is I don't know if I can buy luxury balls at this point. Um, I've gone in with too much confidence. I should have I should have the list of what level trainers are in these areas because the the these open areas are gonna have absolutely bonkers trainers that I am not prepared for. So we hit, but it's not enough. Echoed voice. It KOs here, doesn't it? Yeah, it KOs with a crit too. We have to sac we sacrifice both. I have no more Pokemon that can fight. I gave 64, 64 points. Overwhelmed. I think we go home. Yeah, we go back home because we haven't even gotten to a Pokemon Center yet. Uh, hi, Mom. Oh, that's gross. All right. The worst... <laughs> The worst way to start a Nuzlocke. One, getting everything knocked out. Two, random rolling a Pokemon you cannot get. Oh, my God. That's painful. Oh, that is abhorrent. A travesty. It's a worse end to the first part of this stream than... Last season of Game of Thrones. And I haven't even seen the last episode of Game of Thrones. Um, okay. So I got to go sell all of my items except for one potion, which I just picked up. So we're going to go through that quick little tutorial. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll call it a day. Ah, oh, what a bummer. My cherry berry. I just sell everything. This stinks, man. <laughs> oh. How ridiculous is that? The, like, third trainer I fight is, like, he's not that many levels above me. They're really not that many levels above me, but that's all it needs to be. It's just a couple. They just need to be a couple levels above me. It really doesn't have to be much. <sighs> what a shame. All right, let's go learn about the Pokemon Center. Collect up our... our Collect up our regrets. We'll move on. Um, there is a chance that on the in-between of streams, I will do a little bit of grinding. I don't know if I'll do a whole heck of a lot, but... Um, yeah. Just because I don't want to be underleveled the whole time. And it feels like I'll probably be underleveled the whole time. And like realistically, um, oh, that means material too. Can I, s yeah, no, I can sell that. Okay. So I can sell, I can sell materials too. Gross. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Um. Yep. 
Yep, the Let's Go feature, which is going to come in clutch because Pokemon can't fight in the Let's Go feature. Um, sell. Uh, all but one because we picked up one. <gasps> yes. Uh, oh, let's see. <gasps> Bulk sell. Uh, one. Three. 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 Yep. Yep. Pokeballs. I guess we have to sell all of those. Yep. Yep. Uh, nope, we just got a cherry berry. So that's staying. Yep, 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 yep. The two rare candy. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so then... The play for this run is basically if I ever I'm uncertain for a battle, use all of the XP candy I have. Because if I faint, if 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 all of my Pokemon faint and I can't use them anymore, they all go to waste. So like use them immediately. Uh yep. Yep. This is gross. I have to I'm getting rid of everything. That's a lot. No, uh yeah. This really kneecaps me a lot, but, like, that's just how this is going to go, isn't it? The Gimme Ghoul coins? No! No! And I can't sell those. Oh. All right. And then we can see I'd like to buy. Uh, what can I buy? Technically speaking, I can't use revives, so that works. Yeah, so we're going to use... Although they don't have a smaller denomination. They are 2,000. They are 2,000 Pokecoins. Um... Yeah, I think that's just going to have have to be how it works. Pay with cash. I'm just going to have... Just a small amount of chain, pocket change on the in-between. Um, yeah, two. Pay with LP. Yeah, that's just going to have to be how it works. Um, so, because technically I can't use revives. Once the Pokemon's fainted, it's fainted. Um, can I go into my box? I can't go into my boxes. Uh, change name. Alive. And change name fainted okay and we're gonna move hound hour into the box just to make sure everything is anything I catch additionally is going into the alive um, okay well that's what happens when all of my Pokemon faint is I get to go to the shop and buy out everything, <clears throat> sell everything, and buy out revives, which, again, I cannot use. So um, luxury balls are back on the table. I can use luxury balls. Um, I cannot use revives, So, which just makes sense. So um, the benefit is... A lot of this is easy to recoup um, as far as just general items. Um, I just have to do better about not getting knocked out. Like, I have to do a lot better about not getting knocked out. Um, and the other thing is, is um, there is a chance that I roll for a gimme ghoul because it's in every location. 
for the most part, I think it's in every location. Um, so there's a chance I get a gimme ghoul on my party, and that's fine. Uh, uh, Goldengo would be an awesome Pokemon to have uh, for the long run. Um, the problem is I need 999 gimme ghoul coins, um, which is a lot. Like, a lot. And I can't faint in between getting hat, you know, starting collecting them and finishing collecting them. Because if I do, they all go away. And it is not a fun time to recollect those or just collect those, period. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be fun. So... Um, all right, so I will pull up a guide in my off time, and I will fight some of these trainers. The chances of me encountering a shiny are very slim. There is a small chance that Houndour will have to be replaced. Wow, you get stored power that early? That's pretty sick. Can either of the two... I don't think either of the two Pokemon I have can learn stored power. Um, yeah, I will fight as many of the trainers in this area as possible to get XP. Um, realistically, that first guy, that first guy just uses the mechanics incredibly well. Like, it's not a matter of, like, I can be, if I can be a little bit more leveled, um, I think I can handle him. Um, plus the fact if I can get, I don't know if at what point, um, Quaxley gets a fighting type move, but it looks like he's got just a lot of weak to fighting type, um, which would be great. Um, I could make short work of him, or shorter work of him. Um, but I will hold off on doing the fight at the end of this route until next episode. Um, so... While I'm trying to figure out reasons to not delay and or delay the end of the stream. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, it's been uh, already a bit of an adventure. Uh, maybe at some point we'll actually get a Hound Hour um, in our, on our team. But for right now, our team is looking like Launchpad McQuack. The Quaxley. Um... And then we are looking at Houndour, the um, Fletchling, with a normal Terra type, which is going to be great. Absolutely fantastic when we have to go up against the grass and the bug. Actually, realistically, this is actually a, one of the best Pokemon to get randomly for the next two, the next two gyms. Let's see. So it's... Um, who's the first team star boss? I think it's going to be a dark type, which if Quaxley can get to its second form, then I think I'm fine with. Um, but yeah, I think realistically, like I think the first two, I'm pretty set. We'll have two more regions. I can very quickly get two more regions worth. Um, and then realistically, like the very beginning of the Pokemon League route, it's a really short route. It has like four or five spawns in it. But the Pokemon League um, route, um, I can grab that encounter too if I wanted to get a fifth. So, um, yeah, I've got options. So, um, yeah, we've already had an adventure. We've already had a TPK. So, that's fun. Um, maybe by the next stream, I'll have something evolved. Um, I'll have to look to see what levels and movesets and everything, um, to get a better sense of what's going on. But, uh, thank you everybody for joining me. If you missed part of this and want to go back, it is up on Twitch, twitch.tv slash battle science. If you want to catch the VOD, um, in perpetuity, it will be on youtube.com slash C slash battle science. Um, I'll have a playlist with all of the episodes of this stream. Um, ready to go. Um, oh, goodness gracious. I'm already getting like PTSD. This is like, I'm, 
I'm so glad I'm not doing a hardcore. I'm doing a modified Nuzlocke. Like I can't. I would not be able to. Not be able to survive this. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for, for hanging out. Um, hopefully you guys tune in. Uh, tune in for a later episodes. You know, it'd be cool. Get some more peoples. Get some more chats. Let's get some some peeps rooting, um, rooting, tooting, uh, Pokemon scooting. I don't know these dumb jokes. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, I'll catch you later.